pretty quiet around here. Wonder who might be around. Hey, Zach, what are you up to? Oh, hey, Pat. I was just watching the video you told us to watch on the parts of a paver. Oh, cool. And they said, here's the screed, but I kind of wonder how it works. Oh, there's a lot to learn about pavers and even the screed. But let's start with a basic concept. So Lee and I did a video a little while back about the major components of an asphalt paver, but this is going to be a more detailed look at just the paver screed. So what I want to talk about is the forces that act on the paver. <laughs> like use the force. No, 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 no. There's five forces that act on an asphalt paver screed, and we want those forces to stay in equilibrium because if they do, then we get a smooth mat. We all know how people like a smooth, quiet ride. They do, they do. So the first force is the pull force or the toe force is the toe arm pulls the paver screed forward. We want the paver operator to keep a consistent speed throughout the day because changes in the paver speed end up being changes in the mat thickness. Well, that makes sense to me because when you're in a car and the driver changes speed, you can feel it. I assume yeah. it's the same for the asphalt mixture. Yeah, yeah, similar, similar. So the second force is the shear force. And this is adjusted by changing the angle of attack. Attack? <laughs> no, 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 not that kind of attack. Not that kind of attack. The angle of attack is a small angle upwards of the asphalt paver screed, and it allows the material to flow underneath the paver screed. Ah, uh, is this one of those paver items I've heard should be set up early at the day when we launch and not mess with much? Yes, exactly, exactly. It can also be changed by the speed of the paver. If the speed of the paver changes, then the frictional forces change between the screed and the material. So if we go faster, there's less frictional force. Kind of like water skiing. Water skiing sounds fun. <laughs> no, 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 we gotta talk about these forces here. All right, you're right, we gotta learn. So then the next force is the head of material. This is the material that, that rolls along in front of the paper screen. Like when you mentioned the auger being half full. Yes, exactly, I'm glad you remembered that. We want that level to stay consistent throughout the day because a consistent head of material equates to a consistent mat thickness. Well, that's easy to see. Yeah. So the next force is, is the weight of the screed itself. So like gravity. Exactly, exactly. So there's really not a lot that can be controlled by the paving crew at that point. But what if I stood on the back of the screed? <laughs> no, no, Zach, you don't weigh enough to make a difference with an asphalt screed. Okay. Okay. So then the last force is the stability of the material as it pushes up on the paver screed. And this is affected by things like the mix temperature, the the asphalt binder content, or maybe even the gradation. That sounds like a lot of variables. It is, and there's not a lot of paving crew can do about adjusting those variables. They depend on people like the plant operator, the truck drivers, or other equipment that's involved in the process. So it's a team effort. Oh, absolutely. Okay, Zach, so let's recap the forces on an asphalt paver screed. First off, there's five. Exactly. And those forces are the weight of the screed, mm -hmm. the pull force on the toe arm, mm -hmm. the head of material, mm -hmm. the stability of the mixture, mm -hmm. and the shear force or angle of attack. And we want all these forces to stay in equilibrium. Do you remember why? Yes, because when the forces are in equilibrium, the paver lays a smoother map. Nice. And we all know people like a smooth, quiet ride. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget, push that subscribe button. Maybe even the like button if you'd like too. Then leave us a comment. Let us know what other asphalt related training in your pocket you would like to see.